Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. We're over here at Pacific Emergency Vehicle Group in Hillsborough, Oregon, taking a look at some brand new vehicles. The vehicle in question we're going to take a look at today is a Ford Super Duty F450 ambulance that's been put together by Road Rescue and has been supplied to a customer here in the Pacific Northwest. The lighting in question is what we're going to be looking at. We're going to take a quick look at the lighting and then also a quick look at the vehicle itself with respect to the inside area and all the different compartments. The vehicle has been built for Walla Walla Fire District number no. 5 in the great state of Washington which is next door to Oregon. So they're going to enjoy this vehicle when they get their hands on it. It's also a four-wheel drive vehicle, so it's designed to work here in the Pacific Northwest. Of course, vehicles like this could work anywhere in the world should the need arise. Let's go inside right now and check it out. As we step inside the cab area here, you can see there's a variety of different switches which will control all of the respective lighting on this rig from Road Rescue. Now again, this is something that Road Rescue manufactures themselves in-house and then ties in with the respective lighting and siren components from different manufacturers. As we step inside the rig, we'll get a chance to see some of the cabinetry that's inside this ambulance. Now again, this is a very high-end vehicle and it has been set up to meet the particular customer's needs. Instrumentation, of course, is ready for the paramedic depending on how they want to adjust the interior lighting inside the patient area. Plenty of space to store respective medical supplies and components. Nice safe footwell to exit the vehicle, along with an additional area to store your jump gear should the need arise. This ambulance also has a pass-through from the front cab into the patient area, along with a seat which will accommodate children as well as adults. Of course, there are the uh, area for the cot or the stretcher to go in and again additional cabinetry for storage as well. Now also two things about this particular cabinetry is it has a pass-through. As you can see there, there is a aluminum diamond plated door on the other side. I'm going to go around and open it real quick. This is the bottom and this is the top area which you just saw a moment ago. So again you have access from the street as well as inside the ambulance as well. Oxygen storage, of course. Plenty of storage in this particular vehicle. And nice to step up through the side street door. And as you can see, plenty of space inside. Now again, you've got street access with this compartment as well as access inside the vehicle as well. This area here is where the batteries are stored for the patient compartment area. In this case, is one. A very, very nice unit set up by Road Rescue. Well, there you have it. A quick look, well, more or less anyway, but hopefully an enjoyable one at a brand new vehicle being put together by Road Rescue, being delivered to a customer in the Pacific Northwest, AKA 
Walla Walla Fire District number no. five, and of course it was sold by HW Pacific Emergency Vehicle Group here in Oregon. I'm Stuart, and as always, many, many thanks for watching Signet Television.